Connection is off. Getting a self-driving shuttle bus up and running is not as easy as you might think. Check out this test in Estonia under real-world conditions. <laughs> What's the key takeaway? There's lots to do, Mora. There's lots to do. A new adventure for Rev aboard the Isa Auto. Hello, I'm Christian. We're here in Tallinn. And we build self-driving shuttles. Come for a ride. Beep, 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 beep. I'm an autonomous bus. The whole area here is pre-mapped. Uh, then we add a layer of uh, uh, lanes uh, where the vehicle can drive, where, where the intersections are, where the crosswalks are. The vehicle uh, knows where it is and just checks for obstacles and uh, chooses the best path to move. We can drive all the vehicles on public roads. Uh, the vehicles are licensed, uh, but uh, they need uh, human assistance in some spots. Uh, I just check if ever, everything is clear and if uh, I see that the vehicle, let's say, behaves differently or dangerously, I'll hit the red button. Basically, you can see on this screen how the vehicle sees the uh, whole environment. It's, uh, we're using lidars cameras. Uh, on this vehicle is also GNSS and one radar. Today we're doing teleoperation on it. Okay. So it's being like uh, being driven from the office nearby here. This is really very interesting. I had read about this in the news. Uh, people can believe, start believing in such kind of things because it is too much, too advanced. When we started, the people were usually making lots of pictures, but now they're pretty much acc accustomed to it. Truthfully, the, the idea is that the computer will be uh, safer. If you get the technology right, it doesn't really matter which vehicle you put it on. Uh, challenge is uh, definitely weather. Uh, it's, uh, if we're talking about driving on the public road, it's uh, how the other vehicles behave, uh, trying to understand all kinds of different uh, obstacles that may, might come in front. So there, yeah. There's lots of variables. So basically, yeah, making a circle during day when the sun is shining, that's not a problem. But driving like in this luxury condition, yeah, more, more tricky. We ran over a snow boulder. Typical Tallinn. At the moment, Tallinn at least is very uh, Keen to allow us to uh, test uh, our vehicles in different areas, so the environment uh, for a special open street testing is very good. Here. We have been testing in, uh, in uh, we were in Greece, in uh, in France, in Finland, in Poland, uh, in Germany. Try to understand how the vehicle uh, actually fits in in the environment. Uh, how does it be behave? Uh, how the customers? use it? Do they want to use it? Connection is lost. Neutral. Ah, okay. It's Remote good. operation. We're good. Since we're doing teleoperation, Neutral. Uh, the, the, la the connection latency uh, was too long of the network connection. That's quite dangerous, no? Yeah, but it's also a safety feature that the, if you get any delay in the connection, the vehicle will stop. Uh, we see it as an extension for the uh, public transport system of today. Uh, the idea is uh, that, that this vehicle will gather you from the door and get you to the nearest, let's say, bus stop or, or a metro station. It's definitely an adventure, I would say. Uh, but, of course, we want to provide an actual meaningful service uh, to people. I'm an autonomous bus. Please leave me some room. Thank you.